family of missing Trampa, Darren Myers, say they're still hopeful he'll be found alive. The 49-year-old has been missing in the Tararua Ranges since last weekend after he failed to return from the Northern Crossing. Matt Chatterton and cameraman Dom Thomas report from Masterton. Duncan Stiles says his brother-in-law, Darren Myers, is a meticulous planner and went into the Tararua Ranges last week with everything he needed, including a four-season sleeping bag. However, five and a half days into the search now, and Mr Stiles says it's starting to take its toll. On the inside, I'm, I'm wrecked. It's really, really gutting that, that Darren's not with us. Um, we're, we're super positive that it, he's going to come back and he's going to be the normal Darren and, and life will continue. But we're in this position where it mightn't, he mightn't be OK. And we're just freaking out. It's um, very, very hard times for, for, especially for the close, like Kim, who's Darren's wife. Um, I'm Darren's brother-in-law. And it, I know the guy really well. And I'm just having, it's been a super hard week, basically. Um, very, very tough times. Mr Myers' last known location was a Rhett hut on a ridgeline on the Northern Crossing last Thursday. He was due to finish his five-day hike on Saturday, but never showed up after the ranges were battered by 140-kilometre winds and snow over the weekend. Today in Masterton, it's rained heavily on and off all day, barely reaching double-digit temperatures. In the ranges, temperatures have got as low as minus 14, with wind gusts over 60 kilometres, making it incredibly difficult for air crews to carry out their searches. Police search and rescue controller Tony Matheson says the team have been unable to find any clues to Mr Myers' whereabouts. It's, it's difficult, but everyone's going to form, um, form opinions and there's, there's, um, there's obviously one, um, one possibility that we're hoping hasn't happened, but um, it has to stay on, um, on our radar for the, for the search activity that we're doing. Most people who have a problem up high who retain their mobility invariably seem to end up low and they get picked up in, in a helicopter search. We've done extensive helicopter searching and we haven't found Mr Myers. Current search teams are committed to the operation until Sunday, scouring roughly 2,000 hectares of terrain. And Mr Matheson is pleading for any other trampers in the Arete hut area to be vigilant and leave food in the hut in case Mr Myers shows up. Search and rescue volunteer Joe Hansen is a former dock ranger with over 50 years experience around the area. He says the conditions for finding Mr Myers are tough. But it'll be pretty, you know, miserable. It'll be probably up high there. It's been snowing, you know, this morning. It could be icy still from last night or something, you know, so it won't be very pleasant. You know, it'll be, yeah, and, and, and combined with the steep, you know, the, the steep terrain, because we've asked some of them to, to follow around the bush edge, which, you know, goes in and out and round and through steep gullies and guts and that, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be pretty, pretty hard, hard pretty, pretty hard yakka, yeah. While those conditions are tough, Mr Hanson and the rest of the crew aren't giving up hope of finding Darren Myers alive. For Checkpoint, Matt Chatterton. And late this afternoon, a search and rescue team was finally able to land in the Tararua Ranges to continue the search.